guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we're doing a DIY. I have been asked by a couple of different people if I do a DIY potion video. Now, I'm doing something a little bit different to potions because I recently did a potion making live on Instagram about two weeks ago, I wanna say, maybe three weeks ago. I can't remember, I'm lost for days. What year is it? But yeah, I thought I'd give this a go. I have never done a DIY before, so please be patient with me in this video. But if you do enjoy this video, then let me know if you'd like me to make some more and that, well, maybe do a potion. But today, we're gonna make guinea water out of Fantastic Beast. So, I wing DIYs, okay? So I've got a plan out in my head, but I can't tell you exactly what you're gonna need. Well, I can, but there's things, you know, that I've got maybe a, that I won't need. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but anyway. So I've got a wine bottle, an empty wine bottle. Now inside, we're gonna fill it with blue washing up liquid, because gilly, gilly, what am I about? Giggle water. Did I say giggle water to begin with? Isolation? But yeah, we're gonna fill it with blue washing up liquid because um, I did a polyjuice potion ages ago and I used green food coloring. Um, and over time, the food coloring with the water, it started to go really pale, murky colour and it had like lumps of, it looked like mould. So we're not using food colouring. So yeah, I thought I'd use blue washing, washing up liquid. We have two just in case. Then I'm gonna add blue glitter. I don't know if that's gonna work, but like I said, I wing these DIYs. So yeah, that's going inside. And then I have a printed label that I got off the internet that we're gonna glue with Mod Podge onto the bottle. Then, with a glue gun, I am going to glue down the neck of the bottle to make some sort of waxy design with the glue gun. When that's dry, I am going to use, I want a blue paint, but I want it a bit lighter than that, so I'm gonna mix it with white till I get the color that I want. And then when that is dry, I've got two different blues here of ribbon. I'm not quite sure which one I wanna use, so, We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So yeah, if you want to see me wake, make, wake, yeah, wake up soon. <laughs> if you want to see me make this giggle water, then keep on watching. Obviously the thumbnail will be of the giggle water and I'm just hoping that it's just gonna look as good as it does in my head. And if this is the first time you're seeing my face, hello and welcome to my channel. If you would like to become a Pods of Poppet with us, please click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. But yeah, this can't go wrong, can it, like um, my butterbeer did the other day. Okay guys, let's begin. Let's not make a mess of this like we did the butterbeer. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our washing up liquid. Do you know what? This is really hard to... Focus on what I'm doing and focus on the potion bottle. I'm really nervous about this DIY. Oh my gosh. Look, was not even started and I'm making a mess. Let's just fill this and then we'll clean up. We'll clean up. I've filled it just to the bottom of the neck of the bottle. Now, I'm really liking, I don't know if you can see on camera, I'm hoping my thumbnail can show a bit better, but there's some bubbles inside. You can see a little bit, but I do think they look really, really nice. But yeah, I'm gonna add some glitter. It will sink to the bottom, but that's fine. Well, I think it will anyway. But we've got some fine glitter, and I'm gonna give it a bit of a shake. see that guys but the glitter looks quite cool in there I'm quite happy with how that's turned out like I said we wing these well I do anyway so the next thing I need to do is glue my label <coughs> to the bottom 
So here's my label, like I said, I printed it off the internet. I just did it to size. And I think that's the perfect size for this bottle. <laughs> you have coated your PVA glue would work as well once you've coated it get it on the bottle where you want it so sorry guys I'm trying to do it so that you can see what I'm doing as well make sure you stick all them edges down as well I'm just gonna come around here a bit but yeah and the best thing about PVA glue and Mod Podge is that you can, um, if you haven't got it quite level, it's movable. But there we have that so far. What do we think, guys? Okay, so with the hot glue gun all heated up, look how filthy it is, it's disgusting, Susie. We're going to start doing a design, and I was thinking of bringing it and let it drip down. This might take a while, but I will speed it up for you so you don't have to sit and watch this boring process. But yeah, we'll start up here. I'm going to use a lot of glue sticks doing this. Okay, so I've done a glue gun design all around the neck of the bottle. Um, I filled in any gaps, made sure I was happy with it. And you tend to get these little cobwebby things that I call them. It's like little thin strips of glue. So I've pulled all them off. And that's what we have so far, guys. It is now ready to paint this blue. Okay, ignore this. Okay, this is an artist's palette. It's an old dinner plate, and I'm not an artist, but there we go. So like I said, I didn't want this blue exactly, so we're just going to mix a bit of white with it, so that um, I can get the right blue that I want. with that blue I think that will look quite nice so we're going to go ahead and paint the neck of the bottle on top of the glue with it <laughs> okay so it's all painted and now I'm going to wait for it to dry. Once it is dry, I'm going to seal it with Mod Podge because when I've made wands in the past, when I first started making wands, I realised that um, paint rubs off because obviously when that glue is dry, it's like a rubber and it just rubs off. So I will seal it with my Mod Podge and obviously the paint will not rub off then. And now that that has nicely dried, to you it would have been a second, to me it was ages, I had to get the hair dry on it. But anyway, now we're going to put some Mod Podge on just to seal that paint in. It makes it go white. I can remember the first time I used Mod Podge and I was like, oh my god, I've ruined my painting. I painted Hogwarts on a rock that is in our bedroom. But yeah, I thought I completely ruined it. But yeah, enough talking, Susie. Let's get this Mod Podge in done. Right, that's the Mod Podge. 
brush done. Now we just need to wait for this bit to dry. Okay, the Mod Podge is just about dry, but I had an idea. So I have these, they're from like a card making section in a um, craft shop. And I thought about adding a bit of trim around the top. Let me get it level. Around. Keep checking that you're in focus as well. Like I said, I've never done a DIY. Oh, I hope this video comes out all right. And then we'll just pull it round back here as well. It doesn't quite reach, but it doesn't matter because it is the back of the bottle. But I've got that quite level and I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go back off camera and I'm going to put gold trim maybe around the bottom as well. And then when that Mod Podge has complete, it's nearly there. When it's completely dried, I will be back with the next step. This is what we have so far. I'm really liking how it's looking. We're winging it, guys. Okay, so whilst Mod Podge was drying, I made this. I thought it was quite cute. When I hooked the moon on, I tucked the bit of ribbon just back inside through the hole of the bead. Now I'm thinking I want to have it dangling here. Yeah, there. So I'm just going to hold it in place and I'm going to wrap it round. Now I've got this exactly where I want it. I will snip the end and I'm just going to use my hot glue gun to put the edge down. Okay, so it's nicely glued down. I only put a dot on so you can't see the hot glue. What do we think, guys? Here's the finished product. What do you think to my giggle water? You will have to let me know if you give this a go, but before I go, I am going to give you a nice close up view of it because the glitter, I'm hoping the camera picks up the glitter. It's worked really well. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. Really, really happy with it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up for me. And if you would like to see me make a potion, recommend to me. Let me know what potion would you like to see me make. And, um,. I might give this DIY thing another go if you enjoyed it. But yeah, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye, Pods Puppets.